here. You're going to see the cars moving up. We've probably got three, four, five lights, and lights out, and away we go in Hungary then. Dylan's got a good start. Jake the Slave's losing places. The Maniac's losing places as well. We see cars flying around. Sloth keeps his lead, and it's not going to change down to turn one. All this contact between the Red Bull and the McLaren. They keep the same order as they go through, and Shadders gets ahead of Dylan, and FIFA Beefy's gone up. Someone's Jake the Slayer's crashed. Jake the Slayer's out. As Dylan gets passed by FIFA Beefy, they're side by side. Dylan's gone off the track, and FIFA Beefy takes P4 then. Jake the Slayer, I'm not sure if he had cold tyres. He didn't do the formation up, but he is out of the race after starting P3, and he'll be absolutely gutted then. And we see the bearded Dave going side by side with DJ Jolly. DJ Jordy got driver of the day last week, up into P11 already. Good start for him. FIFA Beefy getting past Shadders, and I think Shadders moved out of the way for him. So FIFA Beefy, my prediction to win the race, has already gained three positions. He's already up to P3. Things looking brilliant for Red Bull. Three positions as well, the stuff. It was both guys that started on soft tyres in the top ten that have lost out. The same two guys that got kicked from the session, to be honest. I'm not sure if either that's got something to do with it. But Red Bull looking brilliant. Crazy Bill's up to P6 as well. He's gained a few positions. And we see the McLarens fighting with a racing point then as well, can't we? DT Bevs is behind Crazy Bill. Crazy Bill's going to be under pressure from him here then, Crazy Bill. Oh, On the outside. See. Great racing there from DT Bevs, that was. Absolutely fantastic move, DT Bevs. And Adams got past Crazy Bill as well, as Crazy Bill was fighting it really hard. He's going to go down the inside. Oh, he's gone oh, for a bit of a dive. Crazy Bill, oh, he's pushed them all wide. I'm he's caused an instant there. Bad. And Theo's taking the places off. Adam and DT Bev's always a bit risky going for a dive bomb. And two other drives, and we've got a yellow flag, and I think it's for Vintage. Vintage is struggling on those hard tyres. He's had a bit of a spin down the back there. Theo's holding these guys up, but Theo running in the points then. Jake is there in the comments saying, I said restart, what, what can I do with that? I had no setup either. Oh. Sloth sets the fastest lap then. Such a shame for Jake Slayer. I'm really gutted for him. All we, all we, he can hope for now is obviously that the guys around him. So Marv, DJ, as Adam goes down the inside of Theo, and Adam gets a move done. It's a great move there, and Theo's been pushed a little bit. So DT Bev's going to get the run on him now. Theo falls down to P9 then. It's Marvsky, DJ Jolly, and McKenzie that Jake is racing with. And they're 10th, 11th and 14th at the moment. So as it stands, Jake won't lose more ground on them at least. That's all a bit quiet at the moment, isn't it? We did say it's a difficult place to overtake. Really, really struggling, isn't he? Is Adam going to go down the inside? He is going to go for it. Oh, it's really, really risky to go for that there. He's going to cap the outside line now. And he goes wide. He gets a penalty for it as well. But he does get the move done. Now Dylan's holding up his teammate, Ardy, um, Ardy Wee. DT Bevs and Adam's gone wide and he's going to lose positions to both McLarens, isn't he? And he has. Now will Dylan let his teammate through? Because DT Bevs, I'm sure, can close this gap. This bridge is now five seconds between fourth and fifth. And Jolie's got another three second penalty. Beefy's got a three second penalty now as well. Oh, he's going to go for it. Oh, I think Nunda creeped in front. Sloth took it back. We'll keep our eyes on this battle for now. How are they not showing the battle for the lead, saying, Danny, we're on it now. We're on it now. We were watching it for a bit. Oh, no, they've hit each other. They've made contact. Nunda's outbraked himself. Nunda's outbroke himself. Has he got wing damage? I don't think he has. Sloth wobbles a little bit because of it as well. But there's no damage done, which is good Jeff, to see. Jeff updating me that we're not far away from some rain. The, oh, Shadows have spun. Shadows have spun. I'm not sure what happened there. He's got severe wing damage. Did he but did he come to blows oh. with DT Bevs? I'm not sure if he did. But he's gone flying into the wall there. Yeah, he Jeff needs to come into the pits. Rain any moment. Rain any moment, Jeff saying. So he's not going to be rain towards the end of the race. We're going to get it about halfway through, according to Jeff. So things are going to get interesting. This could completely change everything. Just saw that Jolie on cryptic alibi. Jolie on fresh softs. Alibi on old hards. Jolie's going to get the move done. Up for P6 then. Nunda needs the rain to come down hard now. I'm 
one enters now. We see some more runners coming on the Inters and McKenty, Crazy Bill Fear all coming out of the pits on intermediate tyres then. Theo Gunas in the middle of this battle now. Guna on those medium tyres. Oh, he's sliding in front. Oh, Theo sliding too. They both keep it together though. DT Bev still closing up on Sloth by quite a lot in 19 laps on mediums. Fantastic effort, guys. Marv up into P5 then. Great effort from him too. Starting on the hards at the back then. He's on for some points. And Nunden, two seconds back from Crypto Gala by now. He's put them on too early. He's going to lose out big time. I think the podium's in question now for Nunda. McKenty three, Crazyville six, Marvsky three, and Theo hasn't got any penalties. So as it stands, Theo's actually going to be up to P7. If he can keep avoiding penalties, that could even be even better, as Adam's just gone up to nine seconds of penalties. So Theo's actually going to be up to P6 with the penalties. Don't know if he's watching the stream, but if he is, I hope that doesn't put the pressure on him. But Theo just needs to avoid getting the penalties and keep it together for the last 10 laps. And I think he might have his first points then. Commentator's curse, by the way. Commentator's curse. Look, the top 10 between 10th and 11th is 8.5 seconds. Just keep it steady, Theo. We'll take this pit. So you need to avoid getting any more penalties. Oh, we've had a... Sp oh, Beefy. Oh, we, we're looking at the overhead board there with Beefy. And he just lost traction. He went flying into the wall. I don't think he got any damage from it. So he's quite lucky there. DT Bev's then. Look. We've got a yellow flag. Virtual safety car. First safety car of any sort in the race. The bearded Dave then. He has lost it, hasn't he? I think we can have a look on board with Vintage. He might be able to have a look. Oh, no, he's not going to get there in time. Just he, say five to ten more rears to rain before it dries up. Oh. As you can see on the map, Bearded Dave has lost it. Where we saw Beefy lose it a minute ago. I think he's just... That, then? Just where, where Vintage is here. Coming to this right-hand curb. He's just lost it. Swerve left and then swerve right back into the side on the right-hand side. Just like Beefy did. I think that's what the Bearded Dave's done. Such a shame for the Bearded Dave. He was involved in Instant Majorly earlier on, wasn't he? And his race hasn't been great since then, has it? Theo's starting to lose out a little bit, isn't he? He's struggling in these conditions. And we've seen a spinner. It's Cryptic Alibi from P8. He's spun. He's lost all his wing. And there we go. That's going to put his teammate, Crazy Bill, back in the points. Oh, he's lost so half of one of his wing as well. He gets that away for his teammate. He's going to have to come back in the pits. And I think that might be the points gone then for Cryptic Alibi. 2.2 then Nunder is behind Bev. So see what Bev's can do. He's really closing up on Sloth. And they break down to turn one. Sloth's still in front. In his first race in WNR. Absolutely fantastic. I am Sloth wins. DT Bev's takes second. Nunder P3. Top three. Absolutely fantastic race from them all. Really enjoy watching them. McKenney's getting past Adam. And I don't think Adam fought it too hard because he has got so many penalties. Oh, Adam's left a session. No. He's on the last couple of corners. Oh, no, his car's getting passed by Marv. Theo's up into P8. How's Theo up in P8? He must have got past someone else. Or oh, Delano. He was already in front of him. I thought he was down in ninth. Oh, well, that's just me being, me being silly. Adam has crossed the line, so hopefully he'll cling on to that P7 at least. He wouldn't have been in his fifth anyway because the amount of penalties he's got. Theo's first point. Theo is going to get his first points. It's P7 for Theo. Absolutely fantastic. Did an eighth. Adam drops a ninth then. Crazy Bill, when he crosses the line, it is P10 for Crazy Bill. What can Guna do? I think Guna's got a couple of penalties of himself though.